Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video I want to share one of my life experience as well as I'll show you what is the upcoming series that we are about to start on this channel. Before I move on and start this upcoming series on this channel, it is compulsory that I make this video. This video is about related to how people react when you, when you start something new, anything at all. This is the exact same reaction that I have been facing from the people and still I haven't stopped and I am still doing this and I want you to understand this as well. A lot of you are on this channel from a very long time but for all those who are a little bit new let me tell you this uh, that I didn't start it as computer engineer. I started as an electronics engineer and yes I did my degree in electronics and communication. The moment I just switched into computers, I didn't switch my degree, I just had my interest in computers. So I was doing my degree in electronics, but I had my interest in computers, I still have my interest in computers. So uh, everything was going good, but I saw a slight opposition from the people. Now I had my interest in computers, so I was starting, I was learning these C, C++, JavaScript, web development and all these things that were popular at their days. So people just came to me, random people who I didn't know much, they just came to me and said, hey, this is wrong, you should not do this, you should focus on your field, your stream, you should learn that and you should focus more on jobs and what are the questions that people are asking in the job only related to electronics, doing everything in computer is wrong, you should stop doing that. And yes, these were the exact words that I've seen again and again from people. You should stop doing that, that's not possible. And what I am, I'm kind of a person who believes that everything is possible, it just needs a little bit of hard work and consistency and you can achieve anything at all in this world. And the irony is, all those people who were uh, giving me these advice, I don't know what happened to them but definitely I did really well in the computers and all these fields. And the next thing that I faced was when I was having a job. So I was having a really decent job uh, in penetration testing and when I tried to move from penetration testing to this core computer programming field, I saw this exact same uh, opposite reaction. People were coming to me, hey you should not do that, you should stop doing that, that's bad, you should just pick up your one field and that's it. You should not be switching into much more fields and all these things and yet again I didn't listen to any one of them I started working on more core field app development especially in the iOS and luckily I got really good clients in the iOS and I was doing pretty good in that so again with the repetitive hard work and consistency I was able to achieve this again same thing happened again when I tried to give it a shot on YouTube. My very first video had the comments that hey you should stop doing that. You are terrible in this. You don't know how to make a video. You have no idea of color schemes. You have no idea about lighting, how these things are going to work for you. You should stop making YouTube videos. I didn't listen to them again. I was just making the videos, started learning all these things again and again, watched tons of videos on YouTube about learning how to make a video, how to enhance the audios and everything. And now my videos are not the perfect, but yeah, really better quality as compared to where I started. And all this is a proof that is still on internet. And the most personal one, my photography. Now I'm not a really amazing photographer, but I still do remember when I clicked my very first shot and I put it onto the internet, I saw amazing mean comments that are possible on the internet. Hateful comments even in my email. Can you imagine people have taken their time and have written abusive comments in the email and have sent me that email that yeah, I should stop taking photos. Yes, my photos were terrible but instead of giving the criticism like to make me better, people were just saying you should stop doing that. Now, I'm kind of a photographer who doesn't take any prize for that photos, but still, my photos are being used by 10 million people so far from just one website and there are other websites as well who are using my photos and I'm so happy about it. I'm able to convert these ordinary photos to something uh, that looks this much amazing and you might have seen some of my photos like this one or maybe this one or maybe this one. Uh, who are being used every single day on websites, blogs, Facebook advertisement, even big companies are using my photos. If I would have stopped clicking those photos, I would have never reached to this mark of this, like my photos are being used more than 10 million people. This is crazy number. But this wouldn't have been possible if I would have just listened to those mean comments and I have, 
I would have stopped doing what I really like to do. When I started this venture of learn code online dot in the very first comment on the very first video of this launch, uh, it was like 20, 23rd or 25th comment or something that, hey Hitesh, this is the biggest mistake of your life stop teaching online and you should not do this learn code online thing and now learn code online is really a big success for me okay we got your point but why you are telling all of this to us now here's a big thing that is about to about to come on this channel i wanted to make it clear now i'm about to start something which i'm not perfect in it right now i'm not perfect in it or not even near good but I'm, I'm pretty sure that even uh, in the near future, I will become better in that. And that's why I want to start a series on this. I also want you to mention this one thing as well. Whenever you are going to get started in anything, whether that's an Android, iOS, web, people are going to say this to you. Hey, this is not working for you. Please stop doing this. There is no future in this. There is no scope in this. You should focus on something else. People are always like that. They're always going to say you should stop doing that. The moment people come to you and say you should stop doing that, just look at them and say, watch me. I'm going to become expert in that within no time. Don't listen to those crazy people. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. Some of you do already know that I'm already using Sketch for a long time and for all of my prototypes and everything I'm using Sketch, InVision and Zeppelin and these are all good. But now I want to switch into Adobe XD. So that's why this upcoming series is going to be Adobe XD. Am I good in it? I don't think so. I'm, I'm really decently good in it. Uh, but eventually I will be learning it and for that I'm taking up a challenge, a 30 day challenge that uh, I will be designing something every single day and I will be sharing this with you on YouTube. So in case you also want to follow along with me, I highly recommend to do so because together we are starting on to a very similar phase. You are also on to a very beginner phase. I do have my experience with Sketch, but I don't have much of the experience with Adobe XD, but I want to learn it. I want to implement all of my experience from the Sketch in Adobe XD. So what you can do, you can follow along with me on this channel and every single day in the upcoming 30 days, I'm going to post a video about designing something, doing something, and I highly recommend you also to do it. At the very first, whatever you'll be designing, it's going to be bad. It's going to be worst or it's going to be nightmare. But don't stop there. People are going to make mean comments on you as well as on me as well. But don't stop there because until and unless you have designed something, something really terrible, you cannot design something awesome. So what I recommend you is subscribe to this channel and follow along with me in an Adobe XD series and what you'll be able to do after the series, you will eventually become a better designer. I'm not saying you'll become pro or something, but you will definitely be able to design better mobile apps on iOS and Android, as well as you'll be able to design better websites as well, because these websites include a lot of button works, a lot of icon works, similar for the apps as well, some login screens, some interfaces, all these all these things need really some amazing design work. Together we are starting this amazing new series and I, I would like to welcome you in this. So what you have to do, just download your Adobe XD. I'll walk you through with the initial steps. Once you have designed exactly the same thing that we have designed together, how much terrible it is or how much good it is, you have to follow me along on my Facebook page and post in the comment section whatever you have designed. I know it's, it sounds a little bit of too much of work, but trust me, these 30 days are going to transform you into a better designer. You won't have to look onto the internet about these buttons or icons or everything. We are going to together learn a lot about Adobe XD. Okay, so that's it for this video. We are about to start Adobe XD, which is a little bit different from what I do, but everybody needs to learn something new. That's why we are learning Adobe XD. So follow along with me on YouTube as well as on my Facebook page. Post every single day whatever I am designing or you are designing on my Facebook page. I will be looking forward for that. That's it for this video and let's catch up in the next video.